Hi everybody, uh, today is August 1st and uh, we've been up to uh, a lot of stuff. So we left uh, that campground on uh, Umbaga Lake in New Hampshire and we uh, were going to head off to Portland. So we uh, went uh, from New Hampshire down Route 26 into Maine and uh, came through uh, Grafton Notch State Park in Maine and I have some uh, nice video of, of that park as we pass through. There's a lot of places where you can pull off even with an RV, uh, go down some trails and see some interesting stuff. Very, it was a very nice afternoon spent and we're currently in um, uh, Pembroke, Pembroke, uh, Maine, uh, at a uh, park, it's a, a city park of Pembroke, um, called Reversing Falls. Uh, it's actually a picnic area, but people also use it as a camp area, and so we've been hanging out here for a little bit. did go to Acadia National Park uh, just prior to this day and uh, got some uh, videos of that. We're going to probably, I'm going to bre probably break this up into a couple of different videos. Uh, so it's, the reason I haven't put out uh, any of these things is because uh, we've had like virtually no internet service so it's been real spotty here and there. So I got a lot of stuff that I have uh, uh, recorded but haven't done anything with but this is a uh, real nice area as you can see it's a that's a bay behind us it really isn't a river and the uh, tide uh, changes by 20 feet so high tide to low tide it's a 20 foot change and so there's currents that come through here and they come in and then the uh, tide goes into a change to start going into a low tide. The water becomes very still and then it changes direction and goes the other way. And there's rocks out there so you can see the current passing over the rocks like falls. So that's why it's called reversing falls. Uh, very nice. There's another person camping right over here and here's our camper set up here so uh, it's primarily a picnic area though I do want to make a shout out to uh, Jerry and Ginger it's it's uh, it was very nice to meet you guys it, this was uh, really really weird uh, just outside of Acadia National Park, uh, there was a Walmart, and we stopped there to get s some supplies. And this truck, I was out in uh, with uh, with our truck while Kathy was in the store. I uh, was walking the dog, and this truck kept going around in a circle around us. And I was like, well, I wonder what's going on there. I thought maybe they were admiring our rig. <laughs> Uh, they uh, went around about three times and then he pulled up to me and rolled down his window and said, hey, how you doing? He goes, great. He goes, uh, you got a YouTube channel. I said, yeah. <laughs> so it was real interesting that I got to meet one of my viewers. I mean, what are the odds? I mean, we're from Colorado. We're up here in Maine. Um, I don't remember where Jerry's from, but he's not. From, I don't think he's from Maine either. And uh, he, uh, he said he recognized me when he drove by. He told his wife, he goes, I know that guy. So <laughs> the, uh, 
And so there you have it. I was like, you know, what are the odds? Because right now, it's, my channel is very small. I got a little over 300 subscribers. And uh, so far away from, from my original home, and I run into somebody who watches my videos in Maine. So that was, that was really awesome. Uh, so I'm going to, over the next few days, because I got internet here, uh, four bars of uh, Verizon 4G. So I'm going to uh, try and put out a video each day and try and catch this up. They're not necessarily going to be in order, though, but uh, um, I will do my best to get these out and get everything kind of caught up. But uh, it's been, we've had a, uh, a lot of fun. So, uh, but we're going to start to slow up now because I started looking at how much gas we've gone through and what we're spending overall, and it's, uh, it's up there. So... Uh, I think we've traveled a total of like 8,000 miles between everything we've done over the last four months. So I'll, I'll work out the exact figures and put a video out on, on what it's costing. But uh, I need to do more uh, free, free camping is what we need to do. And we've had a couple of little mishaps uh, with the trailer too. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Acadia National Park, when I was pulling out of the campsite there, uh, there was a boulder on the right side uh, as you pulled out. The, the streets uh, for those campgrounds are very narrow, and I came out and made a turn to the right, clipped the boulder, and it messed up my steps. Uh, so you can see they're all kind of cockeyed there. Uh, I, I bent it out as much as I could and they're functional so I uh, got that uh, I'll eventually replace the steps so nothing major um, pop the uh, trim on the side here too I'm gonna fix that no big deal and then uh, our one support here we t this is the thing about this camp area see I, I bent those arms on there there again, it's still functional. So nothing, nothing major. It's just you, you start doing stupid stuff, I think. But a beautiful spot. It's free. There's no signs that say no camping or anything. So I'm gonna kind of roll with it. Uh, the guy back over here behind me has been here uh, quite some time, actually. So, but he's a resident of Maine. And uh, the sites here, it's tough to really get a spot where it, the ground is level enough to actually put a uh, trailer here. The, uh, we tried to set the camper up up there, but the, uh, the problem there was it was it sloped off too much. And we, I don't know, we spent half a day trying to get this thing to level out up there and couldn't. And that's how we damaged the one stabilizer set. <laughs> oh well. Things happen. But we have put on a lot of miles in that. So like I said, we, we changed direction a little bit. We came out of New Hampshire down Route 26. We uh, was gonna, we were heading off to Portland and uh, made a change in plan and decided to go a little further north because we saw on freecampsites.net actually uh, this uh, uh, this place reversing falls so it got our curiosity uh, going here but uh, beautiful and at night real quiet yeah I've enjoyed the peace and quiet and staying stationary uh, for a little bit here uh, it's because it's been hectic we uh, we have lucked out a lot of times like uh, when we went to Acadia National Park I showed up there what was it on a Friday with no reservations then I find out that uh, they only do reservations they usually don't take walk-ins but uh, they had a cancellation 
and they had shuffled some people around which opened up a campsite for us and for two nights and that's all I wanted to stay at a KAD National Park for um, and then this way we could see the park and then we could go uh, see Bar Harbor so we did Bar Harbor too which is pretty cool so I'm gonna put out uh, probably about three videos uh, each day you know one a day for the next three days and then uh, then we'll boogie on out of here so uh, the video that uh, the next video up will be um, New Hampshire's uh, was it uh, Graf Grafton Notch State Park so keep an eye out for that tide is coming in and then in a few hours it goes back the other way so pretty cool mention uh, by traveling up uh, Maine and that uh, it is nice and cool at night so daytime still gets hot but the evenings drop down into the 60s which is really cool so that's one of the reasons why we're kind of hanging out up here in Maine but don't leave without your bug spray. There are like three different varieties of uh, flies, biting flies. So, uh, and they hurt when they bite. So you just got to watch out for that. Oh, also one of the things I learned at, uh, at uh, Acadia National Park is that... Uh, Lyme disease was found in 90% of the ticks that they caught and analyzed. So something to be aware of that if you do travel up here through Maine, be wary of ticks and check yourself constantly. Because um, Lyme disease is, uh, is bad news. So, all right. If you like uh, my videos, and please hit the subscribe button down below. And... Don't forget to give us a thumbs up or like the, uh, the video and uh, share. Also, check out my Amazon links down below. That helps out the, uh, the channel if you uh, click on a link and you end up buying something on Amazon uh, within 24 hours of clicking one of my links. Uh, I'll uh, get a small commission too, which helps us out. So, uh, keep an eye out for those uh, forthcoming videos. Happy camping.